Hey guys, it's time for another update on Dueling DIY Guest Room Gauntlet. I am currently battling Charlotte from At Charlotte's House, so if you haven't seen her post, make sure that you go and check that out after this video. We've got a lot of stuff that has changed in this room so far. Currently I'm sitting in this room with a TV on the floor, paint on the walls, in between coats. It's kind of an exciting amount of changes, even though nothing is quite together yet it is on the way and that does look like change to me. So that makes me feel really good about the progress in this room. I'm kind of doing a half and half like I did with my office where I'm doing half walls with a lighter color and half walls with a darker color. I've also added curtains to this room, which is actually the first room I've ever had curtains in, in this house. So in other words, thanks to Dueling DIY, I've achieved a first in this house. I've got another upcoming DIY video that's in the works right now and it is a combination curtain rod slash hanging rod for plants. It hangs right by the window and gets lots of nice sun, so I thought it would be the perfect place to do something like that. So that DIY will be coming. Once that second coat of paint goes on the wall, the entire room will be officially done for paint except for the Murphy bed wall. That project in particular is a little bit bigger of an undertaking and that did get started this week, but of course it's not finished yet. I also wanna say thank you very much to Rockler for sponsoring that project because they decided to come on board for it and provide the Murphy bed hardware in addition to all of the hardware I'm going to need for the cabinetry and for the extra storage up top. So big thank you to Rockler for that. Since the last update, there were a number of different things that were also going on. I attended the workbench conference with Charlotte and we had a really great time and it was a lot of fun, but it did take a considerable chunk out of my schedule because I was building one of the booths for that conference. I've also got a brand new light fixture in the room. It's a brand new ceiling fan. And since you guys have probably seen the big announcement with Kay and his dog moving in, he's gonna be using this room as well as a secondary office. And since that double duty was gonna make it difficult anyway, it makes it very good that I'm gonna have a Murphy bed in here so that the guest bed can hide when not in use. It's gonna make for a great use of space. I actually just in fact got back from the store where I bought all my supplies for another DIY project that I'm going to be working on. It's going to go on this wall to give you guys a hint, so feel free to leave a comment on what you think that's going to be. So that's kind of it as far as this update goes. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on and nothing's really quite finished yet, but then again, that's kind of the nature of working on a renovation. So that's going to do it. There's a lot of progress being made. I'm very encouraged by the amount of progress being made here and also in the rest of the house. That means there are a lot of DIYs coming up, so make sure that if you haven't already that you subscribe to everything so that you see all of the various different posts. I've been checking Charlotte's progress on Instagram stories and she seems to have a lot of progress, so I'm a little bit worried that I'm too far behind, but that's what beer is for and also late nights like this. So there is no way that I am even close to giving up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got to get back to paint, so I will see you next time.